buenas tardes, me llamo Adriana Gamazo. Eh, si no os importa, voy a hacer la presentación en inglés para que no se nos aburran los amigos internacionales. Uh, hi, good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Adriana Gamazo, and I am here uh, to present this paper uh, entitled Assessing the Development of Student Generic Competences in Education Related uh, University Degrees. This paper was done in collaboration with Susana Olmos Miralaña, que va María Torrecía Sánchez, and José Carlos Sánchez Prieto, all from the University of San Marcos. Uh, now this presentation will follow the next uh, table of contents. First we will do a brief introduction on the topic of uh, student competences. Then I will explain the aim and the competence definitions, uh, followed by the methodology, the results, and uh, finally the conclusions of this study. Uh, now uh, we're going to see why the student competences are important in uh, higher education. Uh, in this fast-paced world, uh, which is characterized by globalization, social changes, and technology advances, uh, it is crucial that uh, education adapted, adapts itself to this reality and to educational innovation. And higher education, as a part of the education system, must also seek uh, to adapt to these changes. Uh, in the European context, uh, we have the Bologna process. Uh, and one of its uh, main goals is to enhance uh, graduate competences. Uh, with a double goal. Uh, it is to enable them to be able to undertake further studies and also to incorporate themselves to the labor world. Uh, at the European level, uh, we have uh, three main levels of uh, administrative uh, of the competence development. At the European level, and as a, as a product of the Bologna process, uh, we have the overarching framework uh, of qualifications for the European higher education area. Now, uh, this framework uh, establishes a set of generic transversal competences which are not uh, specific to any degree, but they, they work for all higher education students. And they are competences such as uh, autonomous learning, communication, information analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, in Spain, we have the Rubel Decree uh, 861 of 2010, uh, which mirrors uh, these development of competences. Uh, they are practically the same. And uh, the more specific level is the, the guidelines for each degree uh, established by higher education institutions. In our case, we're going to focus uh, on the educational degrees of the University of Salamanca, which are pedagogy, social education, primary education teaching, and for primary education teaching. Uh, now, we reviewed uh, these guidelines uh, for the degrees uh, regarding the competences that must be developed by the students. Uh, and we found that uh, the four of them mentioned uh, almost the same uh, competences, which were uh, that the students uh, had to be able to apply knowledge, uh, uh, to argue and communicate themselves, to solve problems, uh, to analyze information, uh, to be autonomous or self-direct learners, uh, to work in groups, and to be creative. And also for the, for the degrees of pedagogy and social education, uh, they also emphasized uh, the development of the ethical principles of the profession. <coughs> and now, uh, our aim in this study uh, was to assess the development of uh, general competences among higher education students, uh, which would also allow us to maybe detect some gaps in competence training uh, within the University of Samoa. <laughs> Uh, now, well, which competences are we going to assess? Uh, for this study, we use the Gomez questionnaire, which was designed and validated by Gomez Tweet, Rodrigo Gomez, and Ibarra Sai. And uh, this questionnaire uh, assesses 10 generic competences, uh, which were uh, selected uh, by a thorough study of some documents uh, that talk about competences in the, in the European context such as the Junior Project, uh, the Gabriel Descriptors, and also the Spanish legislation on academic organization of higher education, which I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm not going to get into the definitions for each competence. We're just going to see them. If you want to know more about them, you can read my paper. Uh, so we have ethical sense, uh, communication, argumentation, analysis of information, problem solving, knowledge application, creativity, evolution, teamwork, and autonomous learning. Um, now we're going to see uh, our methodology. We conducted a descriptive study with the instrument which I uh, mentioned earlier, which was the COMPAS questionnaire, which is a validated instrument. Uh, it relies on the self-report of the 
about students. Uh, it has two main sections. One is about uh, subject identification data, such as gender year, uh, the year they are enrolled in, and also their degree. Uh, it has 37 uh, different type items, uh, ranging from one to six, and they are related to the 10 binary competences. Uh, the items consist on day-to-day -day academic tasks, and the students are asked uh, to say uh, how often they perform these tasks. Uh, this was our sample was composed of uh, 819 students for this, from this faculty. Uh, as you can see, most of them were female. Uh, most of them were in their first three years of the degree because the fourth year students were in their uh, work placements. And we have uh, almost equal distribution for degree uh, except social education which, which had a few less students. Uh, now for our results. Um, uh, we measured the internal consistency of the scale through uh, from that alpha, and it was uh, 0.949, which is fairly high. Uh, these are the the mean scores of, of each item organized by the competence they refer to. As you can see, all of the items are scored out of four, and the most uh, rated item um, competences were teamwork and communication. Uh, now uh, we wanted to see we conduct uh, a hypothesis test, um, test because we wanted to see if there were differences um, according to the gender of the students, the year they were enrolled in, and also their uh, degree. Uh, we conducted a, a mountain needs use U test because we saw that the distribution of the sample was not normal, so we had to use non-parametric um, test, uh, and we saw that there were. Um, differences in um, eight of the items. So we went, uh, because we wanted to see, we went to the means uh, to see where the, the differences lead to. And uh, we saw that uh, female students fare better in knowledge application, analysis of information and teamwork, and male students <coughs> fare better in ethical sense. Now, according to the year the students are enrolled in, uh, as it was logical to think beforehand, uh, there were significant differences in all of the items, but one item uh, from the evaluation uh, competence. And in almost all of the items, uh, the, the students that did better were the fourth year students. Uh, according to the degree, uh, teaching degrees uh, generally seem to fare better, but they were not conclusive uh, results. Now for the conclusions. Uh, since all items uh, scored about four, we can say that the, there seems to be a positive overall opinion on the student's own competence level. Uh, the most valued competence was teamwork, and the lowest rated competences were evaluation, autonomous learning, and problem solving. Uh, these results uh, seem to be consistent with other studies that also use COMPET, uh, seeing as teamwork is uh, usually the most valued competence, and autonomous learning is the lowest rated competence. Um, the hypothesis testing according to the year the students are enrolled in uh, inform us that uh, as the years go by, the students uh, seem to think that they do better, which is uh, a good indicator for the quality of education. And last, uh, these study teams have the need to develop a specific uh, instruction program for the competences that did worse in this study, such as evaluation, autonomous learning, and problem solving. Thank you very much.